what we're attempting to make here is a set of V-blocks. They won't be nowhere near precision, but they'll be good enough for what, what I need to use. I was fortunate enough to get myself a shaper. It's a uh, PK Douglas, Australian made. In really good order. Missing the guard, but I just don't get that bit. Um, great shaper, come with original vice, all the original spanners. Um, and it's cutting reasonably true. It's really quite surprising. Um, it was three phase, I put a single phase mode on it. I don't have three phase where I live here. Oops. So, yeah, we just have a play around with it and see what we make. I know I should be cutting long ways, not you know, the shorter direction, but I've got the time, so it doesn't really matter. Doing around a 30 thou depth of cut, a 5 thou step over. Um, yes. Working beautifully. I've already squared up two sides, just cutting the, uh, the bottom in now and then I'll flip it over and then, um, then I'll start, I'll square the top off and then cut the V in. So hopefully it'll work out. Yeah. Close to being spot on. But it won't be, yeah. I'm no machinist, put it that way. Better be good enough. Be a little bit shaky now, just holding the camera by hand. Let's see how far I get it before I lose focus. It's a beautiful little shape of this. Um, I believe it was originally in a college. Um, like a TAFE school type setup, which I believe it was very rarely used. The machine still extremely tight. Um, an old fella had bought it, he had a beautiful big old vertical mill, beautiful big old lathe, um, sorry, horizontal mill, sorry. Um, and his wife tells me he sat this in the corner and never ever plugged it in. So, theoretically, it's, it's like bloody brand new. Um, it's 11 inch stroke, 10 and a half inch cut. Um, they're made in Australia. The numbers I found on it on the top here is um, M170. Dash one six six five. Now I believe there was, from what I can just, I can't find much information, but there was a one seventy and a two seventy model, and I don't know if the six six one six six five is um, something to do with the date. It was nineteen sixty five made. I believe they finished making them around eighty four. This one come out with a, a clutch in it, which is fantastic really. Um, yeah, just a beautiful old machine. It's old school, it's the way it used to be done. I love it. Very, very, very happy to get it. And at a really good price too. I've been looking for one for a fairly long time and I found one 
up in Queensland and it was about half or double the, double what they wanted for this one and um, it had been repainted and it didn't quite look as nice it had the original vice with it as well but I don't think it had the original toolkit so as you see it's pretty much how I got it for the, the new motor Hopefully I can better myself and make better better things on the suppose. Because that's what it's all about. Anyway, just a quick you know, let you know what how I got it and what it is and where I'm up to with this project.